up, YouTube? Ugh. Another boring video of me sitting in my kitchen. I don't know why y'all watch this. But hey, I want to give an update on the new airplane. Because um, it didn't turn out how I wanted it to. So, if you've watched the other videos, I took that Cessna after I finished it. And I flew it up through Wyoming, Montana, Idaho. Uh, spent weeks just flying in and out of the back country and it was a hoot and I loved it but the one thing that plane didn't have that I wanted was more space because it would have been really cool if I'd had my mountain bike with me I mean really cool and uh, and so when I got back I got to reflecting on it got a little bored didn't really have a project to do uh, about that Luscom well that certainly was a project um, or is a project and so uh, I got to looking at uh, 206s. Uh, love a 206. They've got, you know, just enough extra room where you can fit a mountain bike in or, or a couple and, and go camping or you can carry more people or that. So I decided, you know, I'm going to sell this 172, which was a, it, it's a great airplane and the new owner, uh, he's going to, he's going to have a lot of fun with it. Um, and I found a, a 206, a really, really nice one. It had about a thousand hours on it. Um, had a IL550 on it, non-turbo, which I like. I don't. I'm not a huge fan of turbochargers. And uh, had a belly pod on it. Just had everything I wanted. It had uh, G5 or uh, G1000s. It had uh, nice leather interior. I probably would have torn the carpet out and put in something more. Uh, backcountry friendly in there, uh, but it was a it was a great airplane, and so it was. I was going to go see it on a Wednesday. This is a couple weeks ago, and I got a call from the owner, and he said, "Well, we have a problem." He said the engine, which only had a couple hundred hours on it, uh, had a, had a crack in the case right near the oil pan, and he sent me some pictures of it. And I'm not going to post them because he's going to try to sell the airplane, and I ended up not buying it. Uh, and I don't want to do anything to or give somebody a reason not to buy it, I guess, the right way to say. So anyways, long story short, um, to me, it looked like the engine had been dropped on installation. There was kind of a big dent in the side of the oil pan, and right above that big dent was a, a hairline crack, and so oil was leaking out of it. So he called me, honest guy, just salt of the earth guy, we'll stay friends. Uh, but basically, he said, you know, I'm going to figure out how this crack happened and figure out how to get it fixed. And, and if you're still interested, maybe I can discount the plane. Maybe I can do this. Maybe I can do that. Well, to me, I just, I didn't want to mess with it. You know, I mess with a lot of things. I mean, you've seen me goof with stuff and it never really ends well. But anyways, so uh, long story short, I'm still on the hunt. I'm going to buy a 206. Uh, I just don't know when that's going to be. Uh, I found five or six of them and but the one I'm looking for is really specific I want the 550 conversion and so if you guys know of one let me know put a comment right down there and uh, but yeah I'll stay on the hunt and uh, I've got some time you know it's winter so I'm not flying a ton right now and so uh, I'm gonna take my time and buy the right airplane and be happy with it uh, but I would like the, the cargo pod as well. So if you know of a avionics, okay, I want good avionics. And by good, that means like 430 or later, you know, the new Avidimes like I had in the Cessna. Uh, so if you guys know of one, let me know because I'm, you know, craving for some backcountry fun. And um, okay, so that's the update. And uh, sorry that... Uh, it took me so long to to get this out there, but uh, I was really hoping I could figure out a way to buy that airplane. But with the issues it's got, and it's they're gonna have to send the engine back to uh, Continental, and and it just didn't happen. And that's what happens when you're buying airplanes. You, you know, you you gotta find that diamond in the rough, and uh, and that takes some time. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, so, anyways, that's an update. If you like this sort of thing, like, subscribe, comment, and no more boring kitchen videos. We'll do it. Maybe one or two. All right. Till next time.